3D Lab, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to build your own custom modulator for small transmitters that run a single 6146 or 807 tube, such as a Globe Chief or Johnson Navigator. And you can build this with mostly junk. The hard part is finding that modulation transformer. So let me show you what I got. So I'm going to base my modulator design on a mod transformer that was pulled from a multi lmac AF68 transmitter. The transformer is in fine shape. It just needs the supporting electronics. So I've got a 10 by 6 chassis and I'm going to use this crusty old Hammond power transformer and it's going to run a pair of 6v6s. So obviously the first step is going to be chassis layout. Here's my tube sockets for the 6v6s. The power transformer is going to sit over here in this corner with the filter cap hidden behind it. This will be my inverter tube. This will be my input preamp. And then this thing is going to have some switching built in so you can key your transmitter with the modulator. When we're all done, it's going to go in this beautiful old police receiver cabinet. Should be a good project. Chassis is ready to mill. I got the outline of the opening that I need for the transformer to sit down in. Now uh, you may say, well, I don't have a milling machine, but you know, you can actually cut this pretty easily with a Dremel tool, or if you're really good, some tin snips. Chassis layout of the modulator is complete. You see the cap, transformer, 12AX7, 6C4, pair of 6V6s. There's our output transformer. And there's our relay that's going to do our switching for your external transmitter. On the rear, fuse holder, this is where the power cord is going to go. And this octo plug will be for the cable that goes to your transmitter. Front view of the modulator, we're going to have a nice observation window. I'll probably put some perforated metal in there. Here's your input for your microphone. This will be your gain. And of course, the power switch. Here's the bottom side of the modulator. I have a couple of terminal strips installed, as you can see. The power transformer is wired up, and now it's time to wire the rest of her. So here we are, wiring complete. The amp is biased. I added a separate little 12 volt AC transformer here to control our TR relay. Here's the biasing resistors, and good old spray orange drop caps. So we're going to give this thing a test and then uh, work on getting it hooked up to a transmitter in the next video. Here's a modulator completed top side. You can see our input microphone jack, volume pot, power switch, transformers, tubes, all that good stuff. It really turned out nice. Everything came right together. A good jump box special. One feature of the modulator I'd like to point out is this keying relay. This is a double pole, double throw relay. One half turns on and off the screen voltage to the output tubes. The other contacts go to two dedicated pins on the rear octo socket to key your CW transmitter. So when you choke the chicken on your microphone, you'll see that relay toggling. This will give you a push to talk function for your CW transmitter while using the modulator. And say, this is Gipper's modulator. Being overmodulated by Emmy. So the project is a success, and I'm listening to it on the 500 ohm tap using a Halicrafter speaker. And the thing sounds great. What do you think, Emmy? Good. Just good? Whoa, feedback city. So I'm very pleased with the outcome of this project so far. As you can see, I still have some cabinet uh, cosmetics to do to make it acceptable. However, the point of this video was to show you that building a modulator is fairly straightforward. It's almost like building a little push-pull tube guitar amp. The only difference is, is you don't have tone controls and the output transformer is different. And believe me, those modulation transformers are getting very hard to find. So that would be your challenge, is to locate that piece. But after that, you're on the road to having a cool little modulator for your low power CW transmitter. Hope you like the video.